Hey guys, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game, The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. And finally, after many, many promises and several episodes, we have made it to the Forsaken Fortress. And I even remember the correct name. No longer will I call it the Forbidden Fortress until I forget. But I wanted to show you guys something that I discovered in my practice file. You notice how it went to immediately night? Well, if you try to reset it back to day... You can't. An evil power seems to have blocked the effects of the music you have conducted. So that's kind of interesting. You have to approach this place at night. I'm guessing just so that they have a reason for the spotlights to exist. But we're not going to sneaky beaky our way in anymore, even though I passed here a little bit. We're going to blow our way in the front door. Go, can it? We don't have to launch ourselves out of a catapult. We have a mother fluffing cannon. Oh, yeah. Ganon has likely been made aware of our little incursion already. Yeah, I'm sure he has. Kind of having your front door blown in does that. But you have the master sword. That sword shall shine in the darkness, casting back evil. With it in your hands, none can keep you from rescuing your sister. Do not be afraid. Yeah, about that. This sword doesn't seem as shiny as you were promising me. Uh, but you're the boat, so I'm gonna assume you know what you're doing. I'm sure it will shine eventually, like when I need a flashlight or something. Speaking of which, you don't have to worry about the spotlights anymore. Woo! Look at me! Link's in the limelight. He's in this. He's on the stage. He come back here, spotlight. He's on the stage. He always deserved. You get back here. You adore me, damn it. All right, fine. Ah, well, hello, sir. Time for Gin and Tennis. As is tradition since A Link to the Past. Let's see if I am uh, better at it than I was at A Link to the Past. Ah, I missed the strike. How did you miss that, Link? I hit the counter prompt and everything. Let's see if, um, let's see if I can get the proper camera angle set up here. I caught myself in a combo. All right, third time. Wow, I am straight red. There we go. No combos. Nope. Ah. It's about to make a no items fox only final destination joke, but then I got hit in the back, so kind of ruined it. Kind of ruined the moment. For someone who has never played Smash Brothers, not competitively, that meme has uh, penetrated even my impen impenetrable internet shell. Ah, I was going to get that. I swung just a hair too early. So far, this is not going great. To be honest, so far this is going pretty much like my practice file. So, you know, don't think I improved with practice or anything. That would be silly. Alright, let's try this. This worked for me before. Now it finally works for me. I am not taking the invitation to jump attack there. I will go into the water and I will probably regret everything. Also, I could, did not lock onto you. I do not like the range of the lock-on system here because it feels very short. It feels like every time I need more space, I don't actually get the space that I need without dropping the lock. This is fun. Look at this camera angle. It really shows you the action here. Whatever. Jump attack! Now I will jump attack you and hit you in the butt. Alright, more tennis, huh? So far, I think I have the advantage in the fact that, you know, I, I think you're closer to death than I am. I hope. That spotlight is really distracting. Alright, is this your comeuppance? 
Comeuppance! Comeuppance! There we go. There's his comeuppance. Yeah, I guess we haven't seen the last of him. But he did leave us a very nice parting gift, so there's that. And Nanaz. I don't want Nanaz. You got the skull hammer! Set it to and use it with blah blah blah. This mighty hammer can break things and pound obstacles into the ground. Some enemies even get stunned by the shockwaves it causes when you pound the ground with it. Na 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 I don't like you. I don't like you. Go away. Go away everything. I'm going in here. Alright, so now we should not have to scour the bomb shoes. Even, even better. Even better. Even better. Nobody likes you. I did not need bomb throwing rats in my life, believe it or not. Uh, since we got the piece of heart, we do not need to scour the fortress for pickups again. Really? There's not going to be too many places that we uh, need to go. Do not set me on fire. Do not step. You know what? I'm going to stab you. Um, it's pretty much a straight shot to the top, and you did not drop a spoils ball, which means I got no skull necklace, which means I'm going to go ahead and equip this just in case that's a trend that continues. Stop stabbing me. I still the only possession you've ever truly loved. Your necklace. And you dropped me hearts. You know what? I'll take that because I did need the heal. Oh, don't, don't, don't light me on fire. You are not stunned. This hammer lied to me. Nope, nope, nope. Goodbye. The nope, nope, nope combo is always the best. You go nope, 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 and then they uh, explode into goodies. Goodies to let you murder more. But anyway, as I was saying, since we got the piece of heart, there's nothing that we're going to leave behind. So we just head straight for our sister this time. Mm, very little distractions, except for this guy. Floor masters. Why did it have to be floor masters? Of course you throw me in jail. <laughs> of course you throw me in the same cell that I've already escaped from several times now. In fact... I'm going to go so far as to say that being thrown in jail might actually be a shortcut. Because we needed to get to the second floor, right? And um, the jail leads to the second floor. So, you know, hooray for us. Good job, guys. You punished me by bringing me where I wanted to go the entire time. All right, let's go ahead and break out the Deku Leaf. Just to make sure that we can get all the way across. Yep. Excellent. Now, which way do we want to go from here? I have to say, I am really having a good time with L this LP, and a lot of you guys seem to be really enjoying it as well. I've gotten a number of some really positive comments on it. I think I've even picked up a few subscribers because of playing it, which, you know, I always like. I always appreciate new people coming to the channel. It's always, uh, always a pleasure to be entertaining more people, which is really all that I'm interested in. I'm not... I'm pro I've said this before, I'm not really interested in doing this for a living. I don't even think that's kind of possible at this point in YouTube's career. Like, it's really going to be really difficult to establish yourself to that degree. I just want to entertain as many people as want to be entertained. You know what? The more people who subscribe, the happier I am just because I get to have a bigger audience to entertain. It's I do this mostly for a hobby to see the numbers go up. That's all it really is. It's just fun to do. Okay. So we took out the spotlights. I don't really think that's going to help us out much. That chest looks weird. I don't know why. But it just looks weird. I know it's because it's open, but it bothers me. I'm bothered by stupid things, but I do admire like how these doors 
have their handles set directly into the stone. See? Look at it. That's actually pretty cool. Hello? You are a teenage mutant ninja bacoblin? Please don't drop anything good. Thank you. Oh, man. If he had dropped like a joy pennant all the way down there, that would have been the worst. Because I don't want to go back down to the first floor. We're onwards and upwards at this point. Speaking of random things that I notice, um, these rooms, they always make me think of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. I don't think I mentioned this before. There is a side quest in uh, Paper Mario where you get a request to find somebody a girlfriend and he turns out to be a Goomba. And he is found in the pirate fortress that you conquer in your search for the blue crystal star. So naturally, because he's a Goomba, you bring him Goombella, or Goombaria. I think it's Goombaria. And, uh, you know, Goombaria rejects him, and he gets really depressed. But that room, it's basically a dock. It's got a bunch of rum fermenting, I guess, a bunch of barrels. Always makes me think of this game. Always does. It feels like it would have fit in so well with just this whole aesthetic. No other room in that pirate fortress and Thousand Year Door feels that way to me, except that one. The rest of them are mostly just like, you know, a cave with wreckage. But that room in particular feels like what a pirate supply room would be. And whenever I come in here, and whenever I go in there, it always makes me think of the other game. And I know that's kind of weird, but it does. Like, this room in particular right here, this room looks almost exactly like it. I'm pretty sure that even in that in Thousand Year Door, there is a boat. Uh, it's kind of a dry dock. I'm not going down there to explore more, but yeah, this room in here and that room in there look pretty much identical. Thank God, I love the I love the Thousand Year Door. I've mentioned this several times. It's my favorite Paper Mario. I'm going to find some time this year to play it for you guys. I don't know if I'm going to do it right now, because to be perfectly honest, I was the reason I picked Sly Cooper was I wasn't sure how long Wind Waker would take. When I see people play the Wind Waker, it usually takes a number of parts, and I'm still gonna like say even though. We're going through the Forsaken Fortress the second time. We're not really close to the end. But, so I picked Sly Cooper's for, so that it was something quick. And I do have plans for the end of July. I'm not for sure going to do it, but there is a game that I've been very excited about that comes out at the end of July. And if you've been paying attention, you might even be able to guess what it is. Okay, so I, stu I stun you guys, but nobody else. That's great. Um... It will be, I'll put it this way, it will be a brand new type of game that I've never played on this channel before. So that might give you some hint. And it may end up also being a longer LP. So as far as Paper Mario goes, I tend to not want to do a long LP with a long LP. I like to have one longer Let's Play going series going, and then I like to have one shorter series going, so that I can cycle out the shorter series more frequently. We Okay. So, there is a point to taking out the spotlights after all. I did not realize that. I should go back and do that. That one right there, huh? I knew that guy would blow you up, um on your first visit if you did not take out all the spotlights. But the second one, since none of the other spotlights seem to care, I didn't think he would either. But yeah, I like to have one short LP so that I can cycle it out and have more of a variety going while I've got the longer one LP going. So I may not do Paper Mario soon, but I am definitely interested in doing it this year. That is a bucket list goal for me is as much as I've been talking about it to do Paper Mario Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door before the end of the year. 
definitely before the end of the second anniversary. And those of you who are new to the channel, the reason why I say my second anniversary instead of uh, my sixth, even though this channel has been around for four years, is basically because I've only actually been recording videos for one year. I had the video, I had the channel and all the social media and everything going for years before I actually started doing anything with it. So I don't really consider that my anniversary. I guess at least I get the chance to fight you guys again. I was going to say fish from you. Actually, I, I changed my mind. I don't care. Goodbye. Um, I consider the year th that I started actually recording videos my official channel start. So that's why I use that as the anniversary. A lot of you knew that. Some of you are new and didn't, you know, whatever. But yes, I am going to do Paper Mario before the second anniversary, definitely. Because as soon as I do that one, I can uh, start planning on how to do the next Paper Mario that I want to do. Which is not going to be um, Super Paper Mario. I didn't like that one as much. I might play it eventually, but since there's no continuity, I'm fine with playing them out of order, just in the order that I like. Go away, you! So Super Paper Mario won't get played for a while. I just didn't like it as much. They tried to do some new things and I can appreciate that, but it wasn't my cup of tea. I, and I, it's kind of an easy game to get really sick of. And I did kind of burn myself out a little bit on uh, watching other people play it. So, not that interested. So when I do, after I do Thousand Year Door, we are gonna be skipping quote unquote forward ahead quite a bit in the series. Because there's one that was released that I'm really interested in. And if I'm not doing Thousand Year Door, and, or I'm not, if I'm doing Thousand Year Door and not doing Super Paper Mario, and, you know, I haven't figured out how to do 3DS games without massive lag, you might be able to guess what it is. Alright, this time we're definitely making sure that, um, there, we're not going to get ambushed. Is it here? Where is it? Is it coming for me? Oh god! <gasps> Yay, we get to rescue her for real. Big brother! Oh, and these other girls too, I guess. You're okay. Yes, I'm okay. You're okay. Um, I just don't talk. I'm a mute. I was worried. Hey, there's the door. The cell won't open that easily. Dramatic reveal! There you go. Acting before you think, as usual. Go, I signal you with my eyes. I swear, do you even realize that we had to draw that monster bird off for you? It was about to come flying in here after you again. I don't like you. I give you my glare. That sword. Where did you get that? Are you... Is it even possible? How could it be? Hmm. Well, never mind about that. For now, we'll just take these girls. I'm sure their fathers back in town will pay a handsome reward for their return. I'm so sorry to interrupt such a heartwarming reunion. But isn't there still something that you need to take care of? Serious mode engaged. If you're worried about your sister, don't be. I promise I'll deliver her safely back to your little island. Normally I'd expect a huge reward for something like this, but this time it's my treat. 
Listen, Arrow. Your brother still has some things to take care of. Big, important, grown-up things. He'll be back soon, so you just wait nice and quiet until he returns, okay? Big brother. Listen, Errol, do as she says, because if you don't, she will throw you out of a catapult. Believe me, it's happened before. Miss Tetra, we have to hurry. That bird will be here any second. Gonzo, excellent. You're just in time. Take this one for me. Hmm? But she's... She's fine. Just do as you're told. Big brother! Yep, goodbye. Link! We'll be back, I swear it. Aww. She's kind of being cute. And there's the bird. The bird is the word. Ba 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 bur 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 bird is the word. Ba 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 bur bur bur. Oh, cool! So this is happening. <laughs> I feel like I've played a scene like this before in Jack and Dexter. This feels very familiar. A flooding room with death. Followed by, you know, enemies everywhere and a race to the top. Yep. Definitely have done this before. In fact, uh, if I remember right, I'm going to want this. Because at some point, we're not going to have these nice ramps. Go away. I don't have time for you. Okay. Maybe I should start rolling and get a little head start. Might be the thing to do. Why are you guys just randomly hanging out in pots? Is it relaxing? Is that what you... Are you masturbating in there? Is that what you consider your downtime? Just a bunch of people holding... Kind of a crash bandicoot moment there. A bunch of enemies running around just hanging out in pots. Why? Ooh, we're almost at the top. Get out of my way! Okay, we didn't need the hook shut after all. We might have if I had been slower on those platforms. A lot of those torch sconces look like they're hook shot points, see? Whatever. He's dead forever. Dead forever. We'll never see him again. Can't anything ever go my way? Boss fight time, for real. For realsies, for realsies. So you already get the idea of what we're gonna have to do. We gotta smack this giant chicken in the head with a hammer when he bends down to peck you and gets his beak stuck because we need to break that mask off before we can actually do any real damage fortunately phantom ganon was nice enough to give us the key to this guy's defeat like ganon is uh, someone who definitely plays by the rules and also as uh, another YouTuber once said, Ganon is a sorcerer who doesn't know what a sorcerer does. I do like how this fight is kind of comedic. It also, you know, it's silly and there's nothing wrong with silly. It does kind of ruin a little bit of the dramatic tension of going up to fight your nemesis though. It, 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 just a minor complaint. But, this game is not one for dramatic tension at all! Every bit of dramatic tension in this game has been ruined by comedy. And I say that in quotes because... I love that this game does not take itself seriously. 
it does kind of bother me some in some ways. I wish it was a little bit more serious at times, like, you know, going to rescue your sister or seeing the Tower of the Gods. You're trying to blow me into spikes, aren't you? But it... That w it would be out of character if it weren't silly. It just would. At the end of the day, this is supposed to be a light-hearted... A light-hearted attempt at a Zelda game, and it pulls it off really well. Alright, where are you going? I want you to come down so I can smack you in the head again. Come on. Get smacked in the head. It's fun for the entire family. Well, that looks like a weak point. I'm gonna sm I'm gonna smack the crap out of it. Oh, his mask actually has collision. That's really cool. It almost got me killed, but that's amazing. Ah, oh, great! I'm hitting. The I got stuck behind his head. <laughs> it is kind of dumb that he that he holds his wings out and hops at you. It just is. I'm guessing that's supposed to be a chick, uh, take on a rooster war dance. Because birds do that. They hold their wings out to make themselves look bigger. I think it's kind of funny, though. It's kind of hard to, you know, really be threatened when you have a sword by a rooster who holds its wings out and hops at you. Alright, come on, dude. You can't have that much life left. Come on, stop that. Can I shoot you out of the air? I can't really get a lock on you, though. Next time I, you come down out of here. I don't think that did anything. Come on, you're just delaying the inevitable. Accept your death like a man! Yeah, Buzz not really fast enough to keep up with him. Although I do feel like there's something that I could be doing. Um, try the boomerang maybe? Silly thought. But the boomerang can actually home in and track on him. Where'd he go? There he is. No, I don't think the boomerang's do gonna do me any good. Especially if I throw it the opposite way. Yeah, the boomerang's not flying fast enough. Huh. Definitely feels like I should be doing something. Oh! Boomerang, go! Okay, weird. If I did something, I don't know what it was, but we won anyway. With a hammer to the head, the best way to win any argument. Don't actually hit people in the head with hammers, it's not a good thing. Poof! He poofed. And he pooped out a piece of our heart container, which is what we really wanted. Bird poop. You got a heart container, your life energy has been increased by one, plus your life gauge has been replenished. Alright. Well. Now that we have our sister rescued, another piece of heart under our belt, a shiny new smashy thing, we're going to call it an episode here, guys, next time. It's finally time to confront Ganon, and I'll see you then. Thanks for coming out and watching today. As always, I much appreciate it. And if you enjoyed what you saw, make sure to let me know by giving me that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you want to watch more Wind Waker, subscribe because I upload it every weekday. And if you have any hints, tips, or tricks, or comments, make sure to leave one below. Thanks for watching again, and you guys have a great day. Smashy, smashy.
Bye.